Today, let's delve deeper into the scoop we've got about Jason and Lucia, straight from the game's artwork and that initial trailer drop. Seems like Rockstar's shining the spotlight a tad more on Lucia this time around. Not to downplay Jason's role, but Lucia's getting some special attention, you know? Alright, so the trailer kicks off with Lucia finding herself in what appears to be a detention center, or maybe some kind of confinement. She's sporting the classic inmate gear and hanging out with a few others. Now, it's a bit fuzzy whether it's an old girls club or a mixed bag. But here's the twist. It doesn't look like your hardcore, maximum security joint. More like a temporary pit stop. Then we see this scene with Stephanie, a counselor at the place. Stephanie's having a chat with Lucia, trying to untangle her situation. Stephanie asks why Lucia's landed there, and Lucia nonchalantly responds with something like, bad luck, I guess. It's got me thinking, maybe Lucia's in for something minor. You know, the wrong place, wrong time scenario, or maybe a string of small time scrapes. By the way, I'm holding a monthly giveaway for a PlayStation 5. You just need to subscribe and you're entered. Now, back to the video. So, Lucia's starting off in a bit of a pickle, but I'm itching to see how the story unfolds, how she got caught up in this mess in the first place. Rockstar's got us all on the edge of our seats with this setup, and I can't wait to see what twists and turns are in store for these characters. Taking a closer peek at Lucia in this clip, she doesn't strike me as too old or hardcore, you know? Surprisingly, she's not all cuffed up or tightly restrained while having a chat with Stephanie, the counselor at this place. Stephanie's vibe doesn't scream in danger while talking to Lucia, so maybe her time in jail isn't as intense as we might think. So, Lucia's got a date with jail at some point. But yeah, she's not going to be stuck in there forever, that's for sure. Let's shift gears to this artwork Rockstar's thrown at us. In that pic, Lucia's flaunting an ankle monitor. Now that's the kind of thing they slap on you when you're out but not really free. It's like they're keeping tabs on you, making sure you stick to a certain area, like your home turf or maybe a specific part of town, as set by the powers that be. Now let's dive into some wild speculation on how this whole ankle monitor deal might mix things up in the gameplay. Imagine Imagine navigating the game with that kind of electronic ball and chain. It's gotta influence how Lucia moves around or what she can get into. Maybe it restricts her to certain zones or forces her to lay low in certain situations. The possibilities are buzzing around my head. It's like a marker that says she's out of the big house but under some major watch. You see, when you've got one of those strapped on, it's like a 24-7 reminder that you're under strict scrutiny. It's like a digital leash telling you, hey, no funny business or else. Now think about how this could shake up the game's map dynamics. Rockstar might play a throwback card to the old GTA vibes, where you're restricted to certain parts of the map at the start. As you progress through the story, you gradually unlock more turf to roam. Picture Lucia, stuck in a zone until she can shake off that monitor, whether she manages to ditch it by some gutsy escape or someone legally gives her the green light. Fast forward a bit and we spot Jason and Lucia in a pretty dicey scene. Jason's in the driver's seat, Lucia's riding shotgun, and they're peeling away from what looks like a scene post crime. A couple of cop cars are hot on their tail, lights flashing and sirens blaring. Jason's got his hands tight on the wheel, sneakily glancing at the cops as they whiz past. Then, when they're out of sight, he shoots Lucia a glance that screams serious concern. It's crystal clear these two are linked somehow, tied together by that ankle monitor and whatever legal trouble they're entangled in. How's that for a curveball in the storyline? There's this air of suspense and questions lingering. What did they do? And how does it all connect back to Lucia's time in the slammer? The plot thickens and I'm itching to see where this tangled web leads us. Let's zoom in on Lucia for a moment. You know, it's not giving off that classic jailbreak vibe. When you make a daring escape from the big house, you don't come out with an ankle monitor like you've been given a hall pass. Nah, it's more like you become public enemy number one, constantly dodging the long arm of the law. It's got echoes of that on the run feel from Red Dead Redemption 2, where you're always watching your back. Wonder if Rockstar's planning to revisit that kind of storyline here? But here's a thought that's been gnawing at me. What if Jason's got this noble quest to keep Lucia out of hot water. Could be, but there's this lingering sense that they've got some pressing reasons behind these actions. It's like they're in this situation either by design or due to some pressing needs. Speaking of which, let's take a peek at the next scene in the sequence. You've got Lucia holding a bundle of cash that could make anyone's eyes widen, stacks of 20s and crisp hundreds. And what's she doing? Nonchalantly turning away from law enforcement? It's like we're getting a glimpse into the aftermath of a successful heist. And then there's this sight, both of them dressed up with bandanas and masks, keeping their identities under wraps as they bolt out of what seems to be a rundown corner store situated in the middle of nowhere. There's this air of confidence about them, but choosing a low profile place like this hints at something. They're not doing this for kicks. No, it's like they're in dire need of funds. Now let's talk about Jason's wheels. It's not some flashy top of the line ride like you'd expect from Michael DeSanta's swanky tailgater in GTA 5. Nope, Jason's driving an older model, something more modest. It gives off this vibe that they might not be swimming in cash. 
The whole picture seems to paint a story of urgency. Lucia's holding a stash of cash, they're hitting a low-key spot, and Jason's not cruising around in luxury. It's like they're pushed into a corner, perhaps strapped for cash, and pushed into some tough choices. There's definitely more to this tale than meets the eye. Let's dive into Jason and Lucia's ride. They're cruising around, making these slick turns and slides. It doesn't seem like they're trying to dodge cops. You can even hear Lucia kind of squeal. She's gripping the car's side in a way that screams, thrill ride. Looks like they've got a pretty upbeat and tight relationship. They're heading towards a motel. And guess what? Surprise, surprise, they're more than just partners in crime. Yup, Jason and Lucia are romantically involved. Now, Rockstar's not laying it all out for us, but you can pretty much read between the lines. Now, let's dissect this trust business. Feels like Rockstar's planting seeds for the storyline's ending. Trust can either be kept intact or shattered, right? It's like a pivotal point in a tale of two partners in crime. Maybe they'll face a dilemma where they have to choose between both making it out alive or going for a massive score, but someone doesn't make it to the finish line. Trust seems to be the crux of it all. And here's the kicker, the final scene. They kick open the door of this corner store, all confident, guns out, ready to hit the jackpot. The story concludes on that note. Now, let's switch lanes and talk about the trailer's song choice, Tom Petty's Love Is A Long Road. Interestingly, there's a tweet from Tom Petty's account expressing gratitude for having their song featured in GTA 6's first trailer. The song itself talks about the struggles of maintaining a relationship, how it's not a smooth ride, but worth the effort. So GTA 6 might just be more than a crime tale. It's shaping up to be a love and trust story. I think Rockstar's aiming for their twist on a Bonnie and Clyde vibe with Jason and Lucia. That's pretty much all the scoop we got about them in the Grand Theft Auto 6 trailer. They didn't spill much, but we kinda got a glimpse into their journey, the hurdles they face, and this theme of trust that seems to run deep in their story. There's this one scene where it looks like they're gaining some traction in their journey. Jason's driving, Lucia's standing up in the passenger seat, and some paparazzi or somebody's snapping their pics. Seems like they've leveled up from their clothes to the car they're driving. So, at some point in the story, they might hit some highs. But knowing how these stories go, it could all come crashing down by the end. So, that's pretty much the lowdown on Jason and Lucia, our main characters in GTA 6. Can't wait to dig into their stories more. What do you folks reckon the GTA 6 plot's gonna be like? Which character are you stoked to play? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And hey, if you like this video, a thumbs up would be cool. Hit that subscribe button if you're new here and want to stay updated on all things GTA 6. Don't forget to ring that notification bell too. The release of the GTA 6 trailer in 2023 has sent shockwaves of excitement across the gaming community. The anticipation and buzz surrounding this highly anticipated title have reached an all-time high. Fans worldwide are feverishly dissecting every frame, theorizing about the game's setting, characters, and innovative features. The hype is palpable as gamers eagerly await the next chapter in the beloved GTA series, poised to redefine open-world gaming once again. With Rockstar Games' history of delivering groundbreaking experiences, the fervor and enthusiasm for GTA 6 are undeniably at a fever pitch, leaving everyone counting down the days until its eventual launch.